to Kalia Tenko, my knitting channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, uh, thank you. I am happy that you have decided to spend some time with me as I talk to you about my knitting or uh, in general and, um, you know, and hopefully life, you know. Uh, this is the second installment uh, on my channel and of course I am uh, excited to uh, talk to you all about what I've been up to recently. Uh, this video was supposed to actually air last month um, as I am striving to do two videos a month at least uh, but as always <laughs> time slipped by. I didn't realize how quickly January um, went. I'm still in shock that we're already in February um, but I took today's opportunity of being off work to actually finish this video for you all and um, so you can enjoy and see what I have been up to. Hi everyone so welcome to the new installment of today's video. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about sock yarn and as well as my uh, upcoming new project for January uh, that I'm planning to cast hopefully today or tomorrow and I will of course be sharing my project also on Instagram so if you have not followed me I encourage you to do so uh, as I will be sharing their sneak peeks of progress of uh, this set sock um yes so i went recently onto woolen company uh, which is a small owned business and here in the u.s and i um purchased two skins of this new sock yarn um it's new to me i have never worked with ling yarns nor have I, uh, you know, I'm not big in, on sock knitting, so I don't actually carry sock yarn in my stash. But the project that I'm uh, going to be sharing here on the screen should be popping up for you. Uh, it's called a Leaf Socks, and it's from uh, a Ukrainian uh, designer that I discovered, uh, I think, about two weeks ago, if not a little bit more. Um, through my friend Maria who had sent me uh, the picture of her beautifully knitted socks and um, I, I mean of the designers knitted socks <laughs> and I just was also in awe and of luckily for us uh, the designer released her pattern uh, recently and I was able to acquire it as soon as it came out. Uh, but because I didn't have yarn, I was like, okay, I guess we're going to go and purchase ourselves some sock yarn. Again, I'm trying to be mindful um, this year, just like I was last year, about buying yarn. Uh, my goal is not to purchase more, but instead purchase as needed and try to actually work a lot more from my stash. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, I do have quite a large stash of yarn that needs to be worked through and um, hopefully in some next future uh, installment, if that's something that would be of interest to y'all, I can uh, show you all the yarn that I currently own and maybe talk a little bit about projects that I think I would like to make with what I have at hand. Uh, but. Again, since I didn't have sock yarn in my stash, I went ahead and purchased this uh, yarn uh, from the company. The yarn itself is a uh, 50 gram skein. I do hope one skein is enough to knit a pair of socks. Um, I'm not very versed in sock knitting um, as I spend more time knitting bigger items. Um, so this will be an interesting experiment for myself as well as a learning curve. So I do hope that I can get a pair out of each um, skin, so, which means I would have two pairs uh, of different colors. Uh, I really like the palette that Jawol offers. Uh, there are so many beautiful colors and honestly like you could 
neat <laughs> sock from every single color they have and they will always be beautiful uh, I did uh, decide on these two first and then you know based on how I like the yarn how I like knitting socks um, I may actually go back and uh, purchase some more and make additional pairs so um, this is a 75% uh, in a virgin wool and 25% polyamide blend uh, from what I have heard and read on you know sock yarn uh, is that you do want your sock yarn to be a, a blend of obviously wool and some synthetic material um, because of the sturdiness uh, adding polyamide will make your sock more sturdy uh, because again remember that this item this piece of accessory that you will be having uh, will be put through uh, hell right because we walk every day we walk a lot and um, if you're planning to put in wearing it at home or actually um, wear it inside of your shoes as you are going out um, then it will be um, it will be put through test and because of that, you want the sock yarn oh, <laughs> to be a little bit more sturdy. So in this case, I am very interested to see. And I will update y'all in upcoming videos or even on Instagram as to whether this yarn particularly really does um, pull through the test of time, right? Uh, I'm very excited about the colors. Um, this one is more like a latte, car caramel latte color. And then this one, uh, which is showing a little bit lighter on the screen, actually, is a little bit a shade darker. But, and it, I would say it's more like a olive green color married a uh, turmeric. And they had a baby. So that's the color <laughs> I would define. Of course, the color number is located on the label. And it's 80, oop, let me see if I can focus this for you. Okay, here we go. It's 83.0150. For this color that I chose, it's an 83.0022. Um, so yeah, I will be needing um, this leaf socks again. Um, and I'm very excited. I also, I'm excited to be needing from my new uh, double pointed knitting set I did receive uh, these leaky uh, needles as a Christmas gift from my friend Scott and Vish this year and so of course I'm super excited because I've heard really good things about leaky so they are on my um, wish list uh, for knitting items that I wanted to acquire and uh, I am very excited uh, to actually use them soon I did <laughs> keep a little um, gift tag that they had placed on my packaging uh, with you know it basically says who has and uh, basically like wishes me Merry Christmas um, so I thought this would be a good memorabilia I even taped it here uh, so to always remember them by and that this set is a gift from them to me so that's uh, pretty awesome uh, I already own a um, double pointed needle set uh, from Knit Picks and actually let me see if I can yeah uh, but the sizes are very limited on that one I think my set actually ends at uh, US um, I think let me see what is this one this one is a US 2.5 okay no uh, 3 millimeters yes I think the other one also ends at uh, the 3 millimeter and um, I don't have bigger um, sizes versus this one goes all the way till uh, US 5, which is a 3.75 millimeter uh, needle set. Um, you get five needles as, as well in the knit picks um, set. I do notice that um, the leaky, which are made, I believe from driftwood, are a little bit more sturdier compared to uh, my knit picks, even in a smaller size. 
I feel like when I'm knitting with my knit picks uh, that if I'm not careful enough, I will be, um, I could break the needle and then um, good luck. <laughs> but if that was to happen, at least now I have a backup set that I can use confidently. So I'm very excited to put these two through test uh, and uh, knit with them. So I think I'm going to use that as an opportunity to um, try them with a new yarn to me and a new knitting needle set so uh, that is all for this installment i will be uh, back to talk to y'all uh finish uh, the magnolia bloom sweater from Danish knitter designer Camila Vad. Uh, it's a pattern I had purchased a while ago and as I had mentioned in my previous video I finally found the perfect yarn and uh, the motivation to actually knit it. Uh, so today I am actually packaging this beautiful uh, knitted piece to be shipped to my friend Vivi uh, who I hope will love it as much as I've loved making it uh, it's very warm squishy and uh, it just brings me so much joy so yeah I'm uh, making sure to package it as professionally as I can uh, and of course I am including her a little note from me uh, so she can uh, think of me when she wears it and as well as you know enjoy my few little words so this package is ready to be taken to the post office and i hope she'll have it in time before the cold front hits us in the next few weeks Hi everyone, a quick um, tune in. I am trying to not make this video long. Uh, it's been a couple days uh, since I began filming and I have, um, you know, I've just been like running around and I'm still trying to get used to the rhythm of putting together the videos for you um, as I work through my projects and making sure that I can get some good lightning. Uh, today it's kind of grayish outside. We had some rain in the morning, but I finally found some time today to um, quickly film this um, short installment uh, for you all. So as you can see on the camera right now, um, so as you can see on the screen right now, is a sock that I have completed. Um, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I always started talking about a new project I was adding to my queue, which is the leaf sock pattern by Ukrainian um, designer, Victoria. I will of course link all her information in the info box if y'all are interested in checking it out. So, uh, I finished one sock. This is how much yarn I have left um, to need the second. And I think I should be good. I know it looks small, tiny, but I do believe I should be able to have enough of it to get through a second pair. Uh, I mean, a second uh, sock to make it a pair. So, 
Uh, the sock hasn't been washed yet nor blocked, but uh, you can already get an idea of how it's going to look and I hope to uh, be able to show you the final result in the next video. And if not, definitely check out my Instagram uh, and there will be more pictures of this project there as well. Okay, so that's uh, a quick small project that I added. I know it technically it's quick uh, because it's a small project, but for me it's still been taking me a long time. Uh, I think it took me a week and a half to finish one sock. Um, that was because I had to understand the pattern, really read through it, and then also you know knitting on very small needle size uh, takes time. Um, but um, yeah, we'll discuss this in the next installment. Uh, when I have the actual pair completed, washed, dried, and then we'll discuss uh, all the nuances and uh, what I've learned um, from knitting uh, this pair of socks. Hey, I started working on a new project quickly. Uh, this is an accessory and uh, it's supposed to be a hat and I'm planning on making it a ear flap hat I think um, a lot of you probably have seen them around. They are quite, you know, they have regained popularity, I think, in the past year or so. And um, But I've never needed one myself, so I thought, why not? This would be perfect. I didn't want to buy new yarn for this project because, again, hats don't typically take a lot of yarn. And um, just ordering yarn for this specific project uh, didn't seem wise to me. So instead I went shopping in my stash and I remembered I had this Knit Picks Highland Wool, I believe that's the name. I had bought this like, I think five or six years ago when uh, a friend of mine had uh, placed an order for a baby girl cardigan. And that was actually the very first baby item that I was needing like for sale. And so I had ordered this yarn because it was, it's kids friendly, you know, it's not, it's soft enough, like it's not irritable and it's warm because it's hundred percent wool. So I had ordered that, but as you can see, I was left with uh, some remains of this yarn and I didn't quite know what to do with it. But at the same time, I didn't want to buy more of it to make something out of it, if that makes sense. So I just let it sit in my stash, uh, thinking, okay, maybe one day I'll find a project that I can use it for. And luckily for me, today is the day. Um, I'm going to make the hat of it. Hopefully I'm going to have enough of yarn. Uh, so cross fingers <laughs> that I do. Otherwise, um, it's going to be quite tricky coming up with an alternative. So I did try two versions. This is actually the ear flap or the flap part, right? of the hat and I um, did one version where it's 100% the Highland wool, nothing added and in comparison I have made another version where I have combined the Highland wool with a uh, mohair blend yarn. This mohair blend uh, I purchased it from Hobby recently and so I thought, hmm, actually I do have red. Uh, let's see how well they play together. And it's actually giving a nice contrast. I hope you're able to see it. If not, I'll try to take some pictures and uh, insert them uh, in the video for you uh, so you can appreciate the contrast and maybe even later, uh, maybe put it as an Insta story. Um, yes. So if you don't follow me again on Instagram, I definitely encourage you to do so. Um, we can connect there as I am more on Instagram than on YouTube. Um, but I try to remedy that. So there is quite a difference uh, in terms of texture, in terms of uh, thickness. Uh, the mohair adds it adds a little bit more. Oh, sorry for the noise. <laughs> the mohair adds a little bit more of a obviously uh, volume to this um, swatch because it's not really a swatch but yes and I haven't washed it mind you so I'm 
hoping or believe uh, once I do, um, the mohair will open up more and make sure that uh, when this hat is worn in uh, rough winter conditions, it provides um, warmth as well as, you know, prevents cold wind blowing through um, the yarn, keeping the ears warm because that's the main purpose, right? And that's a wrap, my friends. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I do hope you enjoyed today's installment. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and as well as subscribe uh, so as to stay current on new releases on this channel. I will, of course, be catching you here in the next video. And until then, I'll stay warm and cozy wherever you are. And I'm sending you lots of love. And until next time, bye-bye.